Typically, when the Grizzlies season ends, the entire team is made available for exit interviews. For obvious reasons, that did not happen this year, but Executive Vice President of Basketball Operations Zach Kleiman and Head Coach Taylor Jenkins offered their thoughts to reporters on how year one of their regime rounded out. The Grizzlies season ended in the play-in game, but most didn't expect them to even get that far. I'm just proud of our guys, how our guys competed. I mean, d despite, you know, some, you know, th three injuries, you know, to, to key guys, um, and some na narrow losses in games that were, you know, very, very competitive, you know, out of the gate, our guys stuck with it. I mean, Just as Kleiman stuck with his plan to turn the page from grit and grind to what we see now with Grizz Next Gen. That process was jump-started in last year's draft, where Memphis caught lightning in a bottle twice with John Morant and Brandon Clark. We're kind of at a loss for how, you know, Brandon slipped to 21st in the draft, but I mean, he, here we are at the end of the season. I'm at a loss for how Brandon wasn't the finalist for Rookie of the Year. You know, I, I, I don't see how that's not Jaw 1, Brandon 2. Um, you know, maybe people still aren't paying enough attention to what's happening here in Memphis. Kleiman also provided a couple of medical updates. Jaron Jackson Jr. had successful meniscus surgery, just as Winslow will avoid surgery. Both will rehab in Memphis and are expected to be ready for next season. Until then, there is plenty of time for reflection. Now we can even have even deeper uh, reflection on this past season, recognize uh, the end of the season, what we had gotten through the regular season in the bubble, um, and you know what mark we left and, and that taste that's in our mouth, um, and then really drive us to next year. For Local 24 Sports, I'm Clayton Collier.